Hello, my name is Anubhav Swami and I'm technical marketing engineer working for our security business group at Cisco Systems. In this short video, I will talk about Cisco Next Generation Firewall and ASAV in AWS and Azure. I will cover how to assign multiple IPs on external interface to allow one-to-one -one static translation. This is an example of uh, uh, Microsoft Azure. I have multiple web servers protected by NGFW or ASA and requirement is to assign multiple IPs on external interface so that I can enable one-to-one -one translation. When you deploy such kind of environment in your data center or in private cloud, the moment you add static translation on your firewall, your firewall starts uh, proxy arping for that new IP address. But that is not the case in public cloud. You need to perform a few additional steps in order to make this uh, uh, design work. So first step is you need to go back to your virtual appliance and point to external interface. So in this example, I'm using NIC2, which is first um, data interface of my NGFWE. So I'm inside that interface and I have assigned multiple secondary addresses. At, at the time of assignment of these secondary addresses, I opted that each secondary address will have a public, dedicated public IP address. So this kind of translation between secondary IP and public IP address is done on Azure NAT Gateway. You don't have to worry about that part. The moment you have uh, your secondary IP addresses assigned, you can go back to your firewall. Uh, it can be next generation firewall or ASA. You just need to enable your translation and allow traffic and access control policy. Again, same is the case with AWS environment as well. You need to select your uh, external interface, click on manage IP addresses. Once you are inside that uh, screen, uh, click assign new IP. And the moment you have uh, this IP address assigned to that interface, you can use this IP address on the NAT configuration inside your firewall and allow traffic and access control policy. For your reference, I have added um, NAT one-to-one uh, -one translation example on NGFWE and ASAV as well. You just need to uh, add these uh, config lines on your virtual appliance and make sure that you allow traffic and access control policies as well. The moment you have a NAT configuration and access control policies, uh, your uh, firewall will receive traffic for that new secondary address as well as it will look at the translation and forward it to the destination machine as well. So I will quickly pause this video and quickly log into uh, portal.azure.com and AWS portal as well. And I will show you how we assign IPs in public cloud. Welcome back, I'm now in Azure portal and I'll show you how to assign secondary IP address on next generation firewall. So I'll quickly click next generation firewall and I will go to network interfaces. In network interfaces, I have NIC2. NIC2 is our external interface on next generation firewall. So I will click this NIC2. I will go to IP configuration. In IP configuration, you will see that I have IP config uh, already for three IP addresses. I have three um, internal addresses which are mapped to three public IP addresses. Now I will go ahead and assign fourth IP. So I'll just name it as IP config four and I will use um, private IP address as dynamic. I will also select public IP address. I need to create this public IP address so I'll just name it as IP three I'll use static I'll click OK click OK again so this will take a couple of seconds to assign new address once you have that uh, IP assigned you will see that translation is here so um, the moment you have uh, third secondary IP address assigned with a public address here uh, you can use that IP address in your firewall configuration Okay, so now we have our fourth IP address. You can see that 10.90.2.7 is now mapped to another public IP address and you can use um, this for your fourth web server. Okay, so this is how we assign uh, secondary IP address in Azure. Now I will quickly uh, go to AWS and show you how we do same kind of secondary IP assignment in AWS as well. Welcome back. Now I will show you how to assign secondary IP address in AWS. I'll go to 
go to EC2 instances and I will look for interface on which I need second IP address. This IP, this interface is external interface of my ASA. So I will right click on this interface, go to manage IPs. I will click assign new IP address. Click yes update. So I have this .94 IP address assigned on external interface of ASA. Now next step is to close this window, copy this interface ID and go to elastic IPs. Now next step is to assign new elastic IP address. This elastic IP address is your external IP address and I will map this elastic IP address to the newly um, assigned secondary address. So I will use this NIC ID here. I will select this one and from the, this drop down menu I will select dot 94 this is my secondary IP address I will click associate so now we have this elastic IP address association with new secondary IP address and you can now go back to your firewall ASA and create NAT and create access policy and enable one-to-one um, -one translation so in this video I showcased how to uh, assign secondary IP address or multiple addresses on external interface and how you can use a static translation and access control policy to allow that communication. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.